The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, thanks for joining me today. We're going to take a look at the crude oil. This is one that we were ending yesterday, uh, right about this time. We were making this ABCD pattern, uh, just uh, absolute perfection there at the 78% level. Went below it for about uh, 10 pips, and then it's taken off. What's interesting about this, folks, I want you to see this because this is a really strong trending market, and when you see strong trending markets, you want to look at 382s. There's your mid-afternoon or early morning low at 3 in the morning, at exactly 382 of this move. Okay, and then it goes up, and you can see it makes another 382 right here. So it's just doing that all the way. And there's your first one right here. This was your very first 382 mini guardly because there's hardly any swing into it but there it is sitting right there 382 it's well 0.46 but that's close enough to 382 and then you go up and that we're doing now is we're completing this big three uh, two day pattern there's your low right down here okay there's your high right there and now you're coming up and you're completing it uh, right as we speak right about now up around 177 around 77.51 Okay, now what we have to do is we have to get to what's really not working here. And pretty soon you're going to see a, a pop-up at 39.90, whereas my stop is setting here uh, in the gold. I bought the gold here today, and you'll see here we're coming down here pretty sharply. Uh, but remember, what we were looking at on this four-hour chart, this long-term chart, was this number down here at, I think is a daily. Let's put the daily up. I believe that's what it is. Yes, there's a daily right there. At 9:44, that's what we were looking for at the hole, and you can see we're we're sitting below that right now. So that's telling you that it is not working. We have to wait till tomorrow, and we'll see what the next thing is going to uh, is going to happen here. So that's what we're watching here uh, in the gold. Uh, as we look at this from your high to your low, you see we're setting. Uh, the 382 came in here at 9:44. That's where we were buying, and now it's below that. No good. We're going to stand aside and see what the bottom is going to be, but it isn't here. So let's uh, keep that in mind as we uh, start to look at some of these other things that we're looking at here today. Our guest at the break will be uh, Grace Morris, and when Grace comes on, we'll certainly uh, chat with her. And I wanted to share with you uh, something else that came from our good friend, uh, Mr. Z, and he was kind enough. I want to bring this up because this is a really neat pattern. This is the uh, natural gas, folks. Today, we've had this uh, beautiful ABCD pattern here, just lined up, uh, you know, just really perfectly. Uh, this is a daily bars, and we went uh, a little tiny bit below. Perfect ABCD uh, right down here at the 303 level. From there, we rallied. We rallied about $8, and now we're setting uh, about you know, around just a little bit above that number. So the thing here, just like in the gold, if you get below this after a rally, you got to stand aside because this is where you can run into a, you know, a whole lot of problems. So that's what we're, that's what we're paying attention to here, here tonight or this morning, this afternoon. Let's talk just a tiny bit about the bond market, folks. Uh, well, let's cover the stock market first because everybody's asking about that. Here's where we were yesterday. It's a daily, of course. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What we were usually looking at was the 15-minute. Here's what we did last night. We dropped from 44.15. We dropped 50 handles right down here. to Well, actually, 60 handles. Then we came up, made a pullback right here. This is the big, this is the big spot right here, folks, because there you make your 61% retracement, okay? And boom, there you went. There was your there was your first 382 was right here. That had a nice profit in it, but you know you end up not making much unless you covered it. But you make an ABCD here, and once you clear this one, see we've made new highs on this move, folks. We've made a new high. So this thing is 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 rocking and rolling. This was a this was the real key right here with this real wide ranging bar popping above here. Your stop has got to go you know someplace here if you're going to be short. 
and then that's what you're looking at. But here's one of those where the ABCD measures here, and it just keeps exploding to the upside because you see this big move right here. Nothing you can do about that, folks. You try it. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. That's what this whole thing of what we're looking at is all about. So keep very, very close contact with that. Because, or keep your uh, chips close to the vest when you see something like this because just like on the way down, you don't want to try to be a buyer when you see these long-ranging bars. And this is the key right there, that long-ranging bar right there. Okay? So that's what I think is, uh, is important as you look at these things unfold here during today. But we did have a big move. Stop and think, folks. This is all we've had since October the uh, 6th. I mean, that's just an incredible move. I mean, to see, excuse me, October the 27th. That's been one heck of a heck of a move and only get 56 points off of this. So this is really a, a big move to the upside that we see going on here. Okay, but, you know, this is what trading is all about. You know, sometimes you're going to have a good one. Sometimes you're not going to have a good one, all right? Now, I'll tell you one that's frustrating. Let me get this one up here right now, and we'll take a quick look at that, and that is the uh, Treasury bonds. Let's get this little puppy moving here. Here's Treasury bonds, and um, <laughs> you know, this is a, this is really a, I, I what I did was last night. You'll notice here um, uh, this was the 382. Okay, now this had this had seven hundred and fifty dollars in it, folks. But this at six o'clock is uh, three in the morning my time, and by the time I get up, it was here. So I had my stop here, and I ended up stopping. And I tried to sell it right here at oh one, and that was the high. I was looking for fourteen oh two, and I tried to sell at oh one and didn't get filled, and then it has the big break. So <laughs> I missed I missed both sides of this darn thing. And there's nothing I could do about it. And you can see, well, if I'd have been really close, I could have, you know, there's a small one three five pattern right here. We'll cover that in the uh, trading session on uh, the 15th of October for sure. But that's a nice little one three five pattern that is formed uh, right here. So that's a couple things. Now I had a question uh, about Apple, and let me get Apple up here a little bit here. Well, I want to do soybeans too, but I got to do one at a time. Hold on just a second here. Okay, we'll get up here to Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Put the daily on. We should be up there making that final ABCD up. I think we're getting pretty close. There's where we are right now. Uh, we're getting really close. There's the, uh, well, hold on, let's move it over a little bit. There's the 61% retracement of the whole range right here, folks. Get this, move this. This was the ABCD that we're looking for the downside. But there's your 61% retracement here at uh, 186. That's where the 618 comes in from that level right up here. Okay. Let me get rid of all this stuff that's not necessary. And I'll delete that. And then we can see where we are. Yeah, there's your 61% retracement. That's going to come in here. At, uh, might even hit it today, 186.43. Uh, the the ABCD that I was talking about is, is completing here, too. There was your 382. Market backed off one day, and then they got to listen to the commercials for TFNN that's coming up. Stay tuned, folks. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, someone asked a question about Apple. I put up the 61% retracement here at 186. What I want you to see here is this ABCD that is there. So we'll blow this up. There's your ABCD. Now, that should take us up to this level right here. Let's just see how close it's going to be coming here. There's ABCD, and that comes in right here. There's, a, there's the ABCD ending right here at 185.26. It's trading 185.30. Uh, the 618 number is right up here. Mathematics precedes geometry. So you want to be, if you want to be a seller, if you're long, you should be getting out of this at 186. Uh, 18607 is the exact 61% retracement of the contract high. And it's taken uh, two weeks to get here. So this is an absolute textbook Gartley pattern, folks. On page 222 of his book, he said, you don't have to try to pick a top or a bottom. Wait for the first counter trend in a move and use that one so if you're looking for a sell in apple this is it at 186 uh we're trading at 185.30 so 186 uh, 43 is the exact number and i wouldn't risk more than two dollars on that that would be 186.43 on a sell and a buy at 188.43 so that's two points on a stock that is trading for 186, folks. You can't use, that is the smallest amount of risk you can possibly get for a trade. So those, those of you that are stock traders, take a picture of that one because that is a textbook. Now, textbooks fail, and uh, you could easily, you know, get up to that 180, get above there and lose two points. But you, if you like the pattern and you believe in what Gartley did, and I certainly do, then that's what you'd be watching. So that's this is no different, folks. This pattern here is no different than the one we were looking at yesterday afternoon in the old crude oil. Where are, are you, crude oil here? This is the same pattern, only upside down, because this was that one was a sell. This one was the buy. Let's just get up here, right here. There was the buy. There's your A, B, C, D move right here. Let's just let's just put the A, B, C, D move in with the uh, tool here so we can see where we are and as you can see we came uh, within <laughs> uh, we came within 20 cents of the exact bottom on that but that was the 786 right here so remember mathematics precedes geometry another example of that but that's what we're watching here folks so we're going to watch Apple 
for the next day or so because it's going to be quite interesting at this level of 186 uh, in Apple as we look at it. Okay, now let's move on to one other thing that uh, I want to mention to you, and that was this natural gas that Mr. Z had talked about. This is another situation. Let's get this up here so, so we can see it clearly. Move it up. Now, this member, this is a shorter-term time frame, folks. This is a uh, pattern where we're looking at it over the last day. This is, a, this is Thursday's action. Here's Friday's action. But as you can see here, right at the bottom, right here, we have a very clear A, B, C, D pattern right here. That's very clear. You can see it just drawn in, and you'll be able to see we went right up to it. Okay, then we came down. Now we've got the bottoms coming in right here. Well, what's interesting, if you take it from the high, this is going to be a 50% correction, not 382. You, there's your A leg, B leg, C leg, D leg. And you know, here's your 38% comes in right here. You have a big correction. It goes from 05, that's $500 move, and then up. But now... This is the pattern that Mr. Z was watching is we've got the higher bottoms here. You see that? Higher bottom, higher bottom, higher bottom. Move this over. And so this is important because of the fact that if you looked at it from the low up to the high, it comes in. Look at this. How many times it's – the line is so so intense. Here it is right here. There's the 61% line. Look how long it was here. There's a one hour, two hour, three hours it was here before it started to – finally move higher so really strong support there at uh, that 302 303 level and now we're up around 304 304 and a half now that's only a few hundred dollars but it's a principle of how these numbers work because it's all based on the risk control of what you're what you're looking at here okay so i think it's uh, important to do that folks here's the s p it's making new highs now for the whole move let's just look at this for a minute and i tell you i i i tried this today and i uh <laughs> I tried it twice, actually. I uh, I tried it here. I ended up breaking even on that, and I tried it here. I lost a, I lost on that one. But this thing, and look at this on the daily. Uh, it is really a very very powerful move. When you go this far, okay, and only back off for a day and a half, and that's 50 handles. Just to show you what that would have been if it had been a 382 retracement. The 382 retracement was down here, 100 handles lower than where we are right now, folks. That's the 382. See, 4301, hello, operator. And look, we're breaking out into new high ground now. So we're going up to at least this level right here, the 61% uh, retracement of the, of the whole move way back from back in here. So that comes in at 4438, and the old highs back here in October, 44. Uh, 37. So, you know, we're <laughs> this is going to be coming rocking and rolling up here pretty soon. Probably uh, on Monday or Tuesday, we're going to have a big move to the upside. So that's what we're that's what we're paying attention to here. I hope it uh, hope it makes a uh, good deal of sense. Someone's asked a question: What do I knew do now in the gold, folks? As uh, far as I know, I, I have to wait because it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Uh, my risk factor was five five bucks I risk a tiny bit more than that because I had several th contracts on but don't remember I had the, the the crude oil on was really good hold on you can see this is this is the area where I wanted to buy right there and it uh, went b below it so that was it five bucks you know if I'm that's all I was risking up here was five bucks but here's five bucks right here and I didn't handle this one very well at all either I made some money in it but not nearly as much as I could have but that's all part of trading. You got to, you know, do that. So if we just look at this on a four-hour chart, uh, we'll probably get a some type of another number down in here because you've got another A B C D forming. In fact, your well, there's your there's your next number right here is going to be at 33. That's the 1.618 expansion of this whole move right here. Okay, that whole move takes you to 1933. Uh, oh. Okay, just a minute here. <laughs> Hold on a second here. We'll go here. This is a second. We'll get this down. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. See how we went through that too? And the 1.618. This is why you, your stop's got to be right below here. Because if it doesn't stop at 44, folks, you know, like we say, you know, you don't know where it's going to go. These numbers only work about 60% of the time. But sometimes when they work, they work really good. 
But, you know, today just is not one of those days for the gold market. Oh, but it'll be coming. What I will be watching now is I'll be watching this number here at 1933, mainly because it's the 1.618 expansion of this whole range, just like, and it maybe it won't, it maybe it won't even move very much. But if you take this range just like this, hold on, where, where did it come up here? Hold on, stop this, stop this thing. Hold on here, there it is. See your your 1.618 number here did not work either. It was the 1.618, all of this. Look at this. It still went below that, so not ready yet, so it's wrong. That's all you can do. Hey, let's stay tuned for Grace Morris, folks. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're speaking online, I believe, with Grace Morris from Astro Economics. Grace, are you there? I'm here. Hi. Well, how are you? Are you back in Florida now? Uh, I, no, I'm right now at this moment in Dallas, Texas. So between Miami, Florida, and uh, Dallas, Texas, that seems to be where the business world is. <laughs> oh, I'll be done. Are you over there? Are you over there giving a, a speech or a lecture or something? 
I'm uh, here on business, yes. Oh, wow. I can remember us doing it several times a year. We always did uh, Chicago and other cities uh, when we were yeah, doing the right. Astro Conferences. How many years did we do that? It was about 10 or 15 years, wasn't it? it? Yeah, it was 15, and uh, we went all the way to Singapore and uh, Sydney. Yes, we Australia, did, yes. And uh, we did come back. Yep. We started in Chicago. And uh, you remember those days, and it was fascinating. Oh, yes. Commodity yes, it was. Traders, uh, pretty much dominated, and then the stock uh, market sort of took over in the uh, about the fifth, the fifth or sixth thousands. What I remember most about those first conferences that we did in Chicago was uh, the fact that there was so much press. Remember, they had the TV and radio people oh, yeah, there because absolutely. people were using astrology yeah, with right. uh, with the markets. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was it CNN was really. came and covered our third one at yes, the uh, yeah. Hyatt and Rosemont. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty exciting. Yeah, well, you know, Bill Meridian and Victoria Martin were there, and Victoria still lives in Chicago in the same place, is still doing the same astrology. But uh, I, I, I remember, well, I've talked just to folks listening to this, why I, I don't understand astrology very much, but one of the things that happened to me when I was little is that right after I was born, the hot, the little uh, – hospital there in clinton indiana burned to the ground and there was no records of oh my. my birth date so all i had was the day i was born and uh, bill meridian rectified it and so did uh, mm -hmm. uh, victoria separately and i don't you can tell the folks how this works but they both came out that i was born around 11 50 to 11 55 in the morning of july 28th which was a monday and they came up with those <laughs> same numbers in you know independently and then my aunt, she mm -hmm. told me, she said, I don't remember exactly. She said, I was there. It was really late at night. And there it was. And so I was born yeah, around 11.50 p.m. <laughs> Tell the folks what that means when they <laughs> rectify that. Well, it's called rectification. And I work with businesses. And I check uh, to make sure that uh, the time of the incorporation or the first trade chart are accurate. And uh, that's the process is called rectification. And I do that with in each personal client, too, because you've got wow. to start with an accurate chart. It isn't just a sun sign. It's the time of birth. It's so important. Wow. Why, why do you think that is? <laughs> why do you think it works that way, Grace? Do you have any idea? I'm, I'm, I'm so skeptical. I'm not skeptical, but I'm, I respect no, it too I, much. Absolutely. To That's the way we should be, <laughs> in other yeah. words. I, but I'm pragmatic, too, and if it works, and 30 years ago, working with the uh, traders from the Chicago Board of Trade, I had a lot of experience uh, with testing out, so to speak, that uh, birth times were accurate. And I found in many cases people who, and in the, in the or some other um, countries, did not record the time. So it was, uh, it became a fun thing. And uh, after all these years, I think I'm pretty good at determining the exact birth time it, with the okay. business it's essential well you've done you've done a great job now you told us uh when you were on a show here about three weeks ago that we were going to be looking at a market that was going to explode to the upside and i i, I think that was probably the understatement of the year we've got much higher to go it looks like oh yes i'm uh, optimistic at this point i think the economy is in good shape and uh, inflation is manageable and uh, I think we will continue. The fourth quarter is usually historically a pretty good. I um, should mention that I was just looking at one of the uh, four stocks that I recommended two weeks ago in the November newsletter is up $14 a share. Uh, and I guess I should just say, if anybody wants a free newsletter, just go to Astro at Astro Economics and uh, ask for it, and I'll be glad to uh, uh, send oh, the good. newsletter. Astro at Astro Economics. Yep. Oh, and okay. I, I, all of them are up. I usually give between three and six. And there were four, and they're all up. But the uh, SNPS is up uh, $14 a share, which wow. I, I think is pretty good. I, yeah. In my newest book, which just came out a few weeks ago, Pick the Winning Stocks or How to Choose Stocks to Outperform the Market, um, I give the favorite sectors for this period and the stocks uh, that will come out on the top, and it's easy to see it. I think 
uh, that's what's always impressed me, that it, the financial astrology really, you can see the timing instantly, and it works. I'm also a therapist, so I've always thought uh, between Dr. Carl Jung and uh, the uh, psychiatrists who use the uh, astrology or the study of cycles to uh, interpret birth charts would be the way uh, we would uh, gain recognition, but I think it's really through financial astrology. Plus, well, Grace, how would, the folks, how would the folks? How would the folks? How would the folks buy your book? Where would where would they uh, go to get it? Direct- just go to the website astroeconomics.com, and uh, okay. the book is available. There's a three-hour video to explain how to use it in in the book. Uh, is also what's, uh, the magic formula. Uh, also, the uh, Magnificent Seven charts, and uh, the, as you said, the stocks that will outperform. And there actually is a combination of planets in each of the uh, top stocks in, in the Magnificent Seven, and uh, that's uh, probably worth the price of the book and the video and the uh, uh, newsletter. Okay. So uh, hopefully people will be interested. Oh, and uh, I've also put the uh, charts of the potential uh, candidates for the U.S. Uh, presidential election. Uh, uh, and uh, they're in the book, too. Can I ask you a question? Uh, do you have Do you have a guess who's going to be the the next president, or red or uh, red or blue? Well, I, I uh, what well, I you don't want to give it away. I don't I don't want is, you to give it away. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, yeah, I, I, it's right now it's somebody who is not uh, an official candidate, so they may come in later. But there uh, there was a book written uh, 40, 50 years ago. And uh, every election, when uh, someone had the right combination of planets on uh, both the election day and then uh, on inaugural day, which is like January 20th in following yeah. years, then um, they were uh, they were most likely to win, and it has worked. So uh, I guess who comes out with the most uh, points right now? If somebody else joins the list, so look at that. But right now, Governor uh, of Illinois, J. B. Christopher. Holy moly! Listen, th- thanks for joining us, uh, Grace, and okay. we'll have you. On, we're going to have you on again, and we'll, we'll be following this. So, thank you so much for being with our guest with us today. My pleasure. Thank you, Larry. It's our pleasure. Bye. Thank you, Grace. You bet. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, this is a chart that I posted up here right now that you can see is December soybean oil. We had Rich Anderson uh, on the line yesterday talking to us about this, the fact that this was a, you know, very, very bullish pattern. Look where the fact that uh, you came down and stopped right at the 78% level down here at 4,900. Now you're at 5,156. It looks like we could have a pretty good rally here. If we go down and look at this on the smaller time frame that we were doing, We'll get this up here and see here's where we were and then today's action you can see there's there's where we were on thursday okay now that was the low the market comes up this is for kicks and giggles look where it stops yes johnny i can see that there's your 382 retracement here and then it has big move up and then a big move down folks this you got to pay attention to because this is a real key factor here of how these markets works. I know this is only a 13-minute move to the downside, but when you see what I'm going to show you next, you got to pay attention. From your low to your high, look at this. It goes exactly to the exact 382 retracement, and then away it goes, and there's no more retracements in here except this little one right here. And if you blew that up just a little bit and saw from the last low – to the last high, you'll see you're going to be really pretty much spot on at another 382. There it is right there. And then we're, we're continuing to go higher. We did another 382, and that one came in right there. Well, misses it by just a couple of cents. But when these markets are strong trending, either up or down, we're going to be covering that very heavily on the November 15th thing to look at because I've spent a lot of time – Looking at that pattern, and it is a bonsai pattern for sure. Uh, we still got the stocks moving. Look at Apple here. I have it here up here. Still made another high since we've been on the air, but it's almost. We should get to 186.43 today. I know it's a dollar from where it is right now. The ABCD measures to 185.30. Uh, mathematics precedes geometry, so they should get to 186 either today or Monday. Maybe it even gaps up Monday given the fact that the market is uh, so very strong here and uh, the rest of this stuff is uh, looking relatively weak. So let's move on here to one other thing that we did yesterday was with the uh, with the soybeans. You remember soybeans had this, this big move down, and, of course, it was stopped right here at this level right here. This is the level we were looking at it right there. There was the little – that was this perfect A, B, C, D that we had here. At the 382, there it is. I'll just draw this in so you can see it right here, and you'll be able to see it right there. There it is right there. There was your 382. Had a really nice move down to the downside. And here again, if you were to look at this, and just in real strong trending markets, just watch for 382s. That's what you want to be watching for. If take, here's your last high. Was uh, right back here. Was actually right there. Was a pretty good high goes right to the – that one goes to the 50% level. If you did the one that started the whole thing right back here from this high down to this low, 
there's your 382 retracement right there from this high 382 and then you come down you make a lower low here that means you've got to take it off the big high which is right back here and you go back and take a look at this and where does it go just about to the exact 382 went above it a little bit and now we're starting to move up so let's pay attention to this one because this is a really nice trade setup we've got the last high right here very important one and now we've got this one right here this is the low so all we have to do now is just draw in to see what that 382 is going to be and look where it is right now folks there's there's the 382 in uh, january soybeans as we speak accompanied by yes boys and girls you're not going to believe this but it's accompanied by an a b equals c d as old mark douglas would say to us but there's where we are get this drawn in ah doesn't draw perfectly because it's so jagged but right there we're pretty much there at uh, 1349 and three quarters trading at 1349 right now so that uh, was late in the day but still got another hour to go for the stock two hours to go for the stock market so this is not a bad trade right here just well if you blew it up you'd see that it's got a whole bunch of things on a shorter term basis that would make you uh, you know make you happy and that is a you've got another ABCD uh, inside of this you got three of well you've got a well, it's only remember this is only a four-minute chart, so don't get too excited. There's your A B C D there, and then you got another A B C D right here. A B C D right there. That one's coming up. So this is a this is one of those. And if uh, if I were doing live trading today, I'd be taking a quick look at that one right here at this 49 level. So whether that works or not, we'll have to wait and see. The stock market just keeps rocking and rolling to the upside, folks. Let's move on here to the uh, next thing I want to cover here, which is uh, I would give you odds that today's low will be the low in the uh, uh, gold. And the reason why is I love that pattern so much, and it didn't work. And I had uh, just about everybody I knew was in it, so they, they all took a loss, but uh, that's the way it goes. Okay, here's our, here's our S&P now. You see you have a huge outside day today. The low being down here at 51, we're up 70 handles, folks. Hello, operator. I mean, give me a break. This is like this kind of move right here. You know, just boom, just straight up. But uh, we're going to get up here at 38. Uh, we might make it two hours to go. We could easily get here to the 61% uh, retracement and match the high that we had from October. So very, very interesting times, as they say in the trade. So let's keep that in mind. Someone has a question about a stock. One second, I'll bring it up. That is the stock of uh, Walmart. Let's get that up here. Starts with a W, right? WWM Walmart is right there. We'll get this up here. As I recall, we had a broken head and shoulders, and that is probably showing us. That's what we were looking at right here. Here was the potential head and shoulders. There was a shoulder right here. There was the head right here. Oh, no, oh, the head is in the middle, Larry. Hello, operator. And there was your shoulder right here. It backed off for just a little bit. There's your shoulder, head, shoulder. They have to be equal in time, okay? The right shoulder has to be equal to or less than the left shoulder. That's exactly what we've done. The market sold off for one, two, three, four days. It didn't come down very much. Looks like it made about a 50% retracement. Ooh, 382 retracement. Even, even, oh, shucks, hold on. Didn't draw that in right. Makes a 382 retracement here, and now we're, we're continuing to uh, explode to the upside here. So that was one that didn't work, but this is where we are with Walmart. Where is it going? All we have to do is look a little bit more. You can see we're in new high ground here. So we're we're a heartbeat away from all new highs. I mean, we've already made new highs. Yes, we've already made new highs off of that. So we're going to keep going higher. How much higher? Well, let's just take a quick look at it. If this is the case, you could easily make a case for this. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg right here. There's your C leg right here, 172, up another seven points without hardly any trouble at all. And that would be equal to what they did here. You see, that? that's probably where it's going is around 172. Let's take a break. Got to pay a few bills, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger Zen, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, someone's asked me, what's my next plan in gold? Here's my weekly chart, okay? I based it on this... Uh, 1944 was a 382 of this move. Look at this down move right here, folks. You see this big up move is $200, $220. Look look at the down move. We gave half of it back, not half of it back, but quite a bit of it. Remember how what the stock market's done like this, folks? Get ready because it's going to do this because what goes up must come down. The two things technically that I'll look at is I'll draw the highs from the last those last highs and see that when it comes into this level right here, this is going to be a really important spot because this will be a 20-minute line. Let me redraw it from the high so that you'll be able to see it from this high to that high through that high and go all the way up to this high. You see you have one, two, two major hits right there, and it should come in. Ooh, looks a little bit lower here. Right about 1935 is where I'll be looking at. The 50% retracement is 1921. So my probably looking at it between 1935 and 1921 as a possible buy. Looking at it on the daily, okay, that'll tell us it'll be somewhere around, there's 1925 right in here, folks. So this is where I'd be watching it, right about there. So that's what I'll be paying attention to because it's been a uh, big move down here since November the uh, first and it's uh we'll we'll see what it does from this level but i still feel strongly that we got a chance for to have a really good rally here in gold 
Uh, it didn't hold the 382, but again, we're talking about 1944. The low's been 1937, so that's pretty close to the ballpark, but we'll have to see what happens on Monday. My guess is we're going to be uh, probably steady to sharply higher on, well, we'll be sharply higher because people are not afraid of being short gold. So there should be some type of a bottom here within about 10 bucks to where we are right now, but I got to refine it better because you got to keep the risk as small as possible. I hope that helps live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side on Monday. <music> 